So today, uh, we're going to be working on the brakes again. I just got one quick little thing to do, and then I'm going to get you caught up on a whole bunch of stuff that we did off camera. And we did it off camera, two reasons. It was raining, and it was it needed two hands. It needed four hands for what we were doing all the time. So it is not a good time to video and get things done. So I, I'll just show you what I did on the, on the payloader. I had a custom made rear brake line made and this is going to come off the left hand uh, power cluster and it is a big soft line started out as two lines uh, but the mounting point was like impossible where, where two lines went in it was literally impossible for me to uh, reach with tools and so we just decided to cut things off this was when I, I had Patrick over the other day helping me so uh, so I've got to run the the uh, the power clusters are now back in. The new ones are back in, or back in. They're in for the first time, and uh, there's a process that we had to do to to measure these things and make sure that they were right and lined up. So Patrick and I we we made this a uh, whole lot of fiddly to make the 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 bending the line around a bunch of equipment but the line comes out of this back to this power cluster hopefully it's focused i'm trying to get it to focus on what i'm looking at not what it thinks i'm looking at anyway it comes back around i'd stick a finger in there but well maybe I, yeah it, i can't stick a finger in here and show you without blocking the lens but okay so it comes around runs underneath this bracket you can see it there along with the pine needle and then it runs forward and so Anyway, we had to uh, kind of make, assemble this thing on, on the vehicle, and that was kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but we got it in there. And uh, normally brake lines are running underneath everything and maybe over an axle. Uh, this was going between hoses and all this kind of stuff. So now I've got to figure out how to route the brake line. Oh, it is, it is just tight in here. Anyway, all right, I can't even explain. <laughs> Let's try this angle. Okay, this angle works. So coming off the back side of that master cylinder and then traveling, generally speaking, from left to right, it's got to be flexible because this whole center thing pivots. It's going to come up. and then follow the right hand bulkhead and so that rear brake line is going to come up to the right hand side which is the side i'm on and then it's going to follow along this bulkhead and Trying to get this thing to focus down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that is the piece that we couldn't get wrenches on from any angle because there's just stuff in the way. And then I thought, I'll, I'll get a long blade on a sawzall and just cut that. You can see that bracket is welded on the bulkhead. And uh, couldn't get it off, so we abandoned it. Well, I'm going to use that as a zip tie point for the brake line because that is the old brake line that we've cut and abandoned there. So it's going to roll up along there, and then it's going to drop on down and get screwed into uh, uh, where it screws in at the end. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. So one thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to be running this, this line every old which way, flip-flopping it, is I'm going to quick tape up the end of this thing so that I don't get crap in the... Uh, on the threads or in the hose, it's in the brake line itself. So I'm just gonna tape this up temporarily so that this this can stay clean while I fiddle and faddle with it. And then I'll uh, give myself a tail to tug on here. There we go. <laughs> I suppose I gotta run this hose along the side where the camera is. Hopefully, it'll be now. I don't wanna knock the camera either. 
A lot of this stuff is so much easier to get the second person. So, making that other brake line, it's it's five sixteenths inch line, so it doesn't really want to bend. You know what I mean? And one thing, you know, I'm kind of. So the old hose shouldered, shouldered itself right on here so it didn't have to have a brake fitting. There's no brake fitting on the inside. So I've gotten the, uh, the adapter this thing came with is quarter inch. And uh, we're going to 5 sixteenths inch, right? So I got a, on top of that I got a quarter to 5 sixteenths inch deal but I uh, it's still the same threads I'd like to be able to screw it in and have a shoulder on this thing but uh, the guys where I had my hoses made which is my local Napa they didn't have the fittings to do that and so that's one thing I wish I had uh, a proper hydraulic jobber where they have basically every kind of contraption you can think of and that's good and tight good and tight because right now I've got theoretically a uh, restriction which I already have on the front wheels too because hmm, we had to do the same thing on the other side I've got a restriction where I'm going through a quarter inch then into five sixteenths so and now that I see how things are kind of roading on this side, I think I want to, if I can reach it, I have this go on top. It's almost something guys, it's almost something. So, okay. working through the hole. so many crannies on this I keep turning around going holy smokes I completely missed this side of cleaning you know there's still so much crap all over everything so I'm I'm hoping I can get the pressure washer out on this thing one more time the hot pressure washer out on this thing one more time before I park this thing for the winter hopefully this is all on camera <laughs> we'll find out huh I wanna guessing I wanna rope this out. Should have wore a hat. This thing, this hose. I think I got a good angle on it on that side behind this bulkhead. I just gotta think so I won't get pinched. Okay, time to change the camera angle again. <laughs> you can see it better than me. In fact, now the camera's probably in my way, but 
so Okay, so we got a, we're making a U-turn. So I'm taking the tape off, and boy, am I glad I had to reroute this thing a little bit to get a little bit more space. And I'm still not entirely sure. I like the routing, but it's better than my original plan. Once I saw what was going on down here, and this is a bit awkward. Oh, I can see why Patrick had a hassle with this getting it up, and he's taller than me. Uh, meanwhile, the dog can walk underneath there. That's great. A wet dog. It's best to have a wet dog. Oh, come on. Oh, dang nabbit. Exactly the kind of thing I didn't want to have happen. Let us begin the fiddle and the fiddle in earnest. Oh, I think I'm starting to feel the goodness of threads. Boy, this is a lot cleaner than it used to be underneath here, though. Uh, the fact that I can see paint <laughs> of any color is amazing. But look at all this crap that's still here. Like, oh, it's everywhere. Hey, is that the... I think I may have just accidentally found the oil pressure sensor. I couldn't see it before. Up there, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but anyway, okay. So what off camera you're not seeing is I'm trying to hold myself up, like with my stomach muscles. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, even you see me. My stomach's in the way of my stomach muscles. <laughs> So it's just awkward. Ah, all right. Ooh. Let's see if we can't get in here. <laughs> oh, shucks. Got the washer. I'll go find that. <laughs> Probably should have gotten, uh, the 3 8 inch impact done out. This is a little over. Oh, don't roll away. Just lay there. <laughs> Hang on here. Let's drain that way. If you can. It might just be uh, that I need to replace the O-ring. This hose is pretty soft, though, so I think uh, I will replace it. coming out the consistency of motor oil and it's supposed to be tractor hydraulic fluid near as I can tell brake hydraulic fluid so it's time for a change So I had kind of intended to send an oil sample in to see if I needed to change out all 80 gallons of hydraulic brake fluid, but just kind of looking at the ick, well, that's pretty nasty. Uh, so I better just plan on buying a, a couple of barrels of, of fluid. That's going to get expensive. Starting to learn something about old wheel loaders. <laughs> They're cheap for a reason. Okay, so here we are draining. I got three of the nuts off or bolts off on that flat fitting and just the fourth one and it's slowly peeing here and I don't know how much fluid's going to come out. But this hose, though it looks old, it's been wrapped 
and near as I can tell it was leaking just at the o-ring so I think I'm just gonna replace the o-ring on this one see what happens so there's the new hose I put on I don't have a video of installing it but uh, put a sock on it you know hopefully that's the last of that hose I'll never have to buy again in my lifetime and uh, it probably could have gotten by with an o-ring but again it was going soft and so I just replaced it now this is Patrick he's come on over to help me today and right now he's filling back up the reservoir of hydraulic fluid after replacing some lines and some leaky o-rings and square cut o-rings and whatnot went in to replace the filter in there what i thought from the parts diagram was going to be a filter turns out there's four filters so that's a bummer <laughs> they're older over a hundred bucks a piece for the filters so I'm not changing the filters at all, and instead I'm dumping, getting 35 gallons of fluid dumped back in. So it's getting a little freshened. So we haven't added any fluid to the hydraulic brake side, but we still got to uh, put in the air lines to run the air side of the power clusters. And so now we're going to detail doing that. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to try to show you as best as I can. Kind of a cool product. <clears throat> This is a, a fitting that'll screw into the air brake side of the power clusters. And hopefully we can see this. But inside are some teeth. And when you push down on this ring, the teeth retract. You see that? Hopefully you can see that. And then, beyond the teeth is a little O-ring, which does the actual sealing. So this thing slides on like so. It's on there. And then if you wanna if you wanna lock it on, you pull that those teeth up. But you can literally just pop these things on and, and uh from what I understand uh these are good for down to four below zero Fahrenheit. So I'm never gonna operate this thing uh any colder than that, I can only imagine. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this product. So today we're going to install our air lines into our power clusters and yeah, they're, uh, they're pipe thread, but they take a 17 millimeter wrench. So, all right, I'm adding a little metric confusion onto this big, big machine. Let's get to it. The machine weighs, what, 32,000 pounds plus the weight of the tires and the tires are probably four, 600, 700 pounds a piece, wow. you know, so it's, uh, it's a big machine now. Okay, my apologies for the next section here. I had a camera that I was aiming at all my work and the audio just got wrecked. Meanwhile, I had forgotten to turn off another camera which happened to be recording everything we, we were talking about. And so what I've done here is just kind of mashed together some of the better audio along with some of the relevant videos. So my apologies, normally I don't have this problem, but I didn't know all day long that the the main camera I was using the microphone was screwing up on it so it is what it is so bear with me you're gonna hear some voiceovers and and mismatched audio with video you gotta bleed each side though or yeah I gotta I gotta uh, well ultimately I gotta crawl underneath here and start uh, bleeding there's six calipers this thing's got disc brakes big disc brakes okay. and uh, it's not a wet multi disc like a New so there's style. bleeds right down by the calipers? Yeah, so, and they've never been cracked loose, so me and map gas will go down there. And I got three yeah. new ones, in case I have to bring out the acetylene torch. Yeah. So.
I hate videoing upside down. <laughs> I have to do more screwing around it. Yeah, well, and then, uh, you know, I tell you what, you can give me a quick hand. Uh, go to the other side of the machine, there's a hole just like this, okay? And the airline is this yellow stuff that wants to be in a perma uh, jerry curl. Yeah, I see it. And I'm trying to get it to go over there. Know what I mean? You want it underneath this plastic hose or over it? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's have it go over. Okay. Just keep tugging until something appropriate comes out. <laughs> okay, that's good. Just leave it hanging there let the, and we'll let that buck. You're in shape. Yeah, all day long. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be such in such great shape. Okay, YouTube. So I got Ed. He came on over. He's a, a neighbor of mine, and he's gonna pump the brakes. So you know, the, all right. So you know the deal. Press, hold. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold down, and then I'll. Try to let air out, and then I'll say release and press okay. again. Okay. And just say left or right. Uh, you can use uh, either of them. I mean, oh, yo, oh, I thought you wanted separate. No, no, they, they're all tied to the same brake line. It's oh. just one knocks it out of the gear, and the other one knocks it out of uh, uh, just hits the brakes, leaves okay. it in gear. All right, push down, hold. Yeah, push down, hold. Oh, isn't that cool? Boy, mm. there's some pressure on your foot. You can feel yeah, it. Yeah. Okay, let up. Okay, press again. Okay, let up. Press again. Ooh, we got juice coming out now. Let up. I can, this system's supposed to have a big remote reservoir filled with fluid, and now I see why. Because in just those few pumps, we almost ran the master cylinder dry. I'm like, huh, that moves a something. Lot, lot that of, that is a line. lot of fluid moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be willing to bet this is the first time this thing's been bled in decades. Yeah. Let you see. Okay, go ahead and pump and hold. Well, hey, I will put an air seat in this thing if I get everything working. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, this thing was pretty well optioned for its day. Uh, yeah, it's got a windshield wiper, I see. Well, it, <laughs> it had two, one in the front, one in the rear, but it's also got a third function, which was rare, and it's got a quick attach, which was, uh, which was unheard of at that time. Uh -huh. So... I'd like to find a pair of forks for it or a uh, grapple bucket. Yeah. The grapple on my uh, compact tractor, that's the most useful thing I have for that thing. Mm -hmm. well, I see he's got a big old hook welded on the bucket. He must have been using it to hook a chain or something with. Yeah, he said that was the most useful feature about that. He says uh, he liked that. Okay, give her a pump and hold. Jeez. All right, there you go. Okay, then up. Pump. We got a little air off that time. All right. Pump. A little bit more air out that time. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta go fill the master up. Okay. Three pumps, and this off. thing goes empty, or tries to go empty. It took a little longer. So, okay, hey, uh, go ahead and press and hold. Didn't see anything that time. All right. 
Press and hold. Okay. Let me go check the master again. So that's our first bottle. Okay, press and hold again. Okay. Press and hold. That's looking good. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm not getting any air squirts that I'm aware of. This one looks like it's also plugged up. I can see I got a uh, clogged up bleeder, so I'm, whoa, I'm replacing it right now. Wow, that's some nasty stuff coming out of there. So YouTube, what happens here is these things get stuck. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just plugged in. So I come in there with a, a drill bit and just clean them up so I can recycle them as long as they're not broken. Hey, Bob. Okay, all four screw bleeder screws should be good to go. Hit it! All right. Push down. Oh, whoops! I got another bleeder screw that's loose. Tell you what, I think they're gonna play. They're gonna play those up with them. All righty, go ahead and press. Okay. Press. Okay. Okay, go ahead and press on it. Okay, press on it. Okay, okay, press. Boy, that felt pretty good. All right, switch your size. Okay, go ahead and press and hold. Oh, that's some nasty stuff coming out of there. 
Okay. Let me check the master again. Okay, Ed. Okay. One more time. Okay. Bob, your turn. <laughs> Isn't that amazing at how much fluid that master cylinder just dumped? Okay, Ed. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ed. That looks like it's good, clean fluid. All right. Clean this up. He's about ready to, to rock.
I can clean up the driveway. <laughs> Hey YouTube, how about that? The brakes, they work! Isn't that awesome? I tell you what, if you like this video, then uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Although I have to admit, winter's coming here, so my channel's going to get slow. Uh, I mean, that means there'll be snow blowing videos, unless we don't have no snow. And there'll probably be some RZR videos, because, well, that's my toy. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I tell you what, this guy's going to stay parked. I'm going to button him up for the winter. Uh, winterize it, make sure the coolant's uh, able to handle cold weather, pull the batteries out, they're monsters, and uh, put all the doors, close the doors, put the panels back on, and uh, but this is where it's going to stay for the rest of, uh, rest of the season. So next year I'm going to come back at it and I'm going to start p fixing subsystems on this thing. Um, I noticed today where our pressure regulator is way off. I must be regulating somewhere around, I don't know, 165 pounds. Maybe that's where the blow-off is. I have to check it out, but I hear the blow-off going all the time, which uh, I think the regulator on on the uh, air pump is not screwing up right because I hear the blow-off valve working. So something else to fix, but you don't know until you got a system that's sealed up well enough for you to find this stuff out. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Till we meet again, YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up and thanks for all the subscribes. The yeah, if it were, if I get it working right. <laughs> you know when he told me about a loader, I was kind of thinking on a little on the smaller side. <laughs> I come over here, I'm going, Jesus, see? Useless. <laughs> this is like gold rush. Useless. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking gold lining up in Alaska with his old beater. So what are you going to do with this big thing? What's the plan? You see those trees that I don't like over at my other place? Yeah? Yeah. I don't think I'll have a problem with them with this. <laughs> no, no problem. I mean, I look at the owner's menu and they're like, okay, if you're going to knock over a fig tree, remember the top can fall on the cap, so lean on it slower. No kidding. <laughs> they got like little cartoon guys that like get, get on the head. Yeah. <laughs>